Uh, high school is it's a mix of things. It's very, it's very difficult and overwhelming at times. A lot of it's about power and people feel they need to have power over you and that's how they rank themselves throughout high school. It was never anything spectacular to me. But when I moved to sixth grade, it got even tougher because I moved schools. There can be so many people in a high school and you can be like the loneliest person ever. When I was in high school, I had friends that would talk about Young Life all the time and they would try and get me to go every Thursday. They would be telling me, come to Young Life, come to Young Life. And I never went until the end of my senior year. I started going and I fell in love. It's kind of an escape from any problems that you might have going on in your life for just a couple hours. Somewhere you can go where there's endless love and support and there's relationships around you that are constant. People are always there for you, checking up on you. And I totally felt invested in for really one of the first times in my life. Club was just, it was a blast. Like the leaders doing goofy stuff and playing games where everybody's involved and you feel like you're a part of you're a part of the crew. Our leaders are very involved in our school. They like to come to our games and sometimes to our lunches when we have our birthdays. In Young Life, apart from other organizations, is the drive to reach the farthest out kid. Uh, knowing that we have kids that come to club that are just really sometimes in the pits of life and to be able to put a smile on their face, to hang out with them, to ask them about their week is one of the biggest blessings. And I think it's something that is so valuable because those are the kids that when Jesus grabs a hold of them, their lives are gonna radically change and they're gonna do incredible things. Before really knowing who Jesus was, I was always very lonely and um, battled through a lot of depression. All I really wanted was a relationship where I could feel like I was being loved and like every time I would try to get that, that would kind of be my downfall and I would become depressed again. So it's kind of like a cycle that would never end. Through going to work crew, um, I realized how many other people had the same struggles as me or even worse and um, what God has done to fix them. And I realized that he's also fixing me by having me there. My faith in Jesus was like a thousand times stronger and like I confidently believed in him being there and I could feel his presence. Going to camp the first time when I got off the bus, it was overwhelming excitement. All the leaders were high-fiving us and, and, and having us come into camp. And I almost felt like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do this whole week? I'm not gonna be this excited. And then once I got in there with my friends and you just have excitement the whole week. I mean, you're excited to be with your friends, you're excited to learn more about Jesus and create relationships. And I just think that we sat down as a community and as a county and we just talked to each other and relationships just started to form. And I came home with like 25 plus relationships with people I've never met in my entire life. It's a way to really build um, Jesus-centered relationships with other people from your community. God got closer to me as well as getting closer to people around me. Um, I got to meet wonderful people there that I have never met before and I got closer to my Young Life family. Uh, over the last year and a half or so I've had the privilege of meeting with a high school senior on a weekly basis and it has been awesome to watch God work in her life to go from just kind of hanging out, going with the flow, to starting to go to Young Life, to going to camp, to going on work crew and spending a month serving her peers and just watching her life change completely while she was at work crew and having the opportunity to be there with her for that month and observe just how God worked in her life to now sending her off to college knowing that she wants to invest in other people and she wants to continue to pursue her relationship with Jesus. It's it's been a pleasure and a blessing and an encouragement to me to watch God move in someone so young and to see Him just desire to use uh, His children for His glory. Well, that's one of my favorite things about Young Life, my relationships with my leaders. It's nice to have like, it's not so much parental as like someone you can hang out with but talk to at the same time and they have a view from the outside because they're not, they've been through high school. 
they're really welcoming and loving and they don't, they don't judge you. I mean, Young Life has changed them in many ways and it shows like Sam and Holly definitely, I, I have better friendships with them than girls I do in high school. My leaders, Amy and Emily, are amazing. They're like my bigger sisters. They watch out for us and teach us new things and how they got through life um, when they were our age. In Man Painters, which is Camp Painters for men, uh, we would eat steak for breakfast and we'd gather around the table and we'd talk about how everybody's week has gone and then we'd jump into our lesson for the day. And we get together at their house or we go to some fun place like Utopia or Weinegger's and we talk about Jesus and the things that we need to work on in school or just with friends and stuff. Because it can be difficult to do that on your own and to go on a journey on your own. So having the leaders there to hold you up and be there for you. My relationship with Jesus has grown, especially because of Young Life and staying with church and being around people. When I am close to him, it feels like he's my best friend and I can talk to him about anything. Young Life has basically turned my whole life around. I don't need to go to parties or hang out with certain people to make me feel whole. I know I'm a child of the King and that He fulfills me. Watching God totally and radically change their lives like He changed mine, I realized that was something that I wanted to be a part of for the rest of my life. And stepping into Young Life was just a natural call from God on my life. And I realized, as Young Life says, that this was something that I was made for.